Seniac does something. Comment section. Write that down. Seniac blows his nose in Blowhole Park. Us. Noise. Seniac builds all that complex train lines. Me. How about you call it Train Town? Remember when Fishtown didn't have a giant train line through it? Me too. Welcome to Train Town 2020! <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishtown here <laughs> in City Skylines. We are back with another episode, boys, where last episode we, we finally got set up that huge train line. Just like the highway through the whole of the map <laughs> it is kind of crazy right now and it's brought us down to this here which at the minute it is very complex and a little bit too ott with all these train lines but we're gonna try and simplify some of it not all of it not all of it because what i want to do is i'm going to say these two words right now and this might be a first guys you've never heard these two words together in a city skyline seniac episode you ready Land reclamation. You never heard it before, right, guys? I've never reclaimed any land before in my life. <laughs> yeah, right, Sonny. I can freaking liar. Um, I'm going to try and build another export area just like this over here. And we'll try and get a couple of different uh, export trade figgy cargo booby booby -bo -bo bobs, maybe we'll call it, set up to it so we can then start to decipher between different lines, not have them all overpopulated, and have all the trains trying to get over to this one. We're going to try it, see if it works out. So, as always, guys, if you are enjoying Fishtown and want to see more of it in the future, please make sure you smash that like button down below. Uh, if you are new in here, make sure you subscribe so you know if I know that next episode comes out. But this is the stuff that we've got to do to future-proof ourselves. Now, the problem we're going to have next is, if I go to the fish routes, where are they right now? We're going to have to get rid of a couple of these here because I want to build it over this area, which it really is only these first two um, fishing docks. Are they different? They're shellfish. They're anchovy. So we have to delete the route for these two right now. I'm so sorry, but you need to go for me to reclaim the land. And how far can I push this? Okay, pretty much up to the edge there with the water change color, but it's not going to go that far anyway. In it. So I want it to be in line with this road here because it, you know, cuts straight in. And we're going to pause the game for the moment and we're going to start to reclaim it. Damn, boy, you're crazy. So push this out and we have the, um, the, the shipping cargo export area around here. I want this a little bit chunkier. So I think I'll actually bring you up to here, to be honest with you, and push it out this way, and we'll kind of do a nice little system. So if I do a nice sticky-out bit here, because we're pretty much creating another port slash dock area. It's going to be connected to all this anyway, but it's going to be what I need to kind of get it all up and running. Now, when it comes to where I'm going to place it, um, I need it to be kind of near a shipping route which means i'm gonna have to create another shipping route my own lane so pull into play mode while a bit easier to kind of drag and drop this while the water now kind of pops over it well oh, don't duplicate boy what are you doing don't duplicate i can't get rid of it boys there we go right don't duplicate you're deleting boy you're deleting there we go. We're going to reset the sea level. And that should be okay. We'll fa Actually, you know what? We'll fast forward it. Any more coming over? No. We've, we've gone away from that one. So delete that then. It sticks out a little bit there. Which uh, now it looks like a mythical creature, this whole land. It really does look kind of weird, doesn't it? So now we've got that then. We're going to place... Now, do I place it on this side, or do I place it on this side? I mean, I could place it on the very end. I feel like I, sh I should place it on the end, uh, this side. So I'm trying to think of the train lines. So I could place it over here. Hmm. I'm going to place it on this side, just solely because... Right. Oh, I just realized something. There's a fishing boat there. Mm. Okay, let me... Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really need to stick out this far either. 
So let me chop that back just there. And what we're going to do as well is we're going to get the ship route, which is it that one, the ferry pathway, ship path. Here we go. And we'll create a nice little U-turn here. So if I brought that line up to here. And then bend that round like that. Like that. So we create a nice little U-turn there for ships to potentially pass through. And then bring this right down to here where we can have a little diagonal that way. We can have a little diagonal that way. And that is enough there for me to be able to place down my little export area pretty much anywhere I want, as you can now see. Uh, but it's still not enough just there to place on this side. So we're going to push that up a little bit more. So, ooh, wrong one. Back over here. So let's just delete this real quick. And let's pretty much bring it up to there. Bend that round there. Just like that. I'll fine tune that whole corner. I'm just going to make sure I can get where it, where I want it. Which, there we go. So before I do place it down, I'm going to have to do the key wall to make it a perfectly round square. So let me just sort this out real quick then. So delete this bit. There we go. And... All right, let's take it to there then. So we do have potential to bring it a different way in the future. Take it all the way up there, but I don't know if we will. I think this would probably be all that I need. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right, I need the key walls then. Which you've got to here, which will pull it out by 45. Up by, we'll take it by 25. 45 that way and I'm just going to go up by 10 there just to kind of get it all set up so it's quite a wide little section this is uh, right now let me get rid of no is it classes decals and props one of them uh, almost oh academic reports nice so we're just coming to there with... Let me just go up to there. And then we'll, we'll just get the rest of it ourselves. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong... I'm holding control. Boy, you're meant to be holding shift. All right, we do like that. Hold shift. And we should be able to get that now all the same level. So align to height U. We could do if I had it all selected. There we go. I just realized I didn't have all the, the proper nodes and stuff selected there. Right, align to height to you. That is all done. That is all good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So the reason I want it to be on this side is because I can have them drive in, go up, through it, come back out, and straight back out again. But more importantly, it puts the train line on this side up here, which gives me more room to kind of configure a nice little junction there, if that makes sense. So, we'll see how that goes. I thought there was water there for a second. It looked kind of weird from that little angle. Hmm. Uh, anyway, shipping. Get a nice little dock there. Looking good, looking good. And we'll align this then to the same height level as them. Nice. And for now, we'll, well, we'll actually first, we'll unhook it. There we go. And we'll turn it into a one-way industrial road. Go in that way. And for now, we'll just connect it up via the road. So we'll have a normal road stick out to there. And then we'll have our one-way road straight up. This will come down. So we're going to keep it very basic for now. As basic as that is, that is how we're going to have it for just a moment until we do a little bit more work over here. But let's just get the water on that little peninsula section. We need to give it some power. 
There we go. And uh, that will just now start accepting exports and potentially imports. But more importantly, we have an export area on the opposite side of this whole industrial section. So it would probably hopefully start reducing the traffic. Now we've got to think about what cargo, train cargo areas we're allowing to connect over here. So what I'm going to do is, we, at the minute, they all go, I exit the region, and they all go to this one. But I'm going to start st stopping some of them from going to this one. So let's say this one, for example, here. I can have it connected to the outside region and also only have it connected to this cargo one. Same with this one. So these two will be connected to that one. I know it's quite close, but it also allows us to kind of bring imports in and, you know, take them out to the region as well. So i got to think about how I'm going to do this then. So really, we only have that one going that way. Because I literally have another train line over here connected up to that as well. So that will get to there. These three here will go straight to this one. So with that in mind, I'm going to pause... And we're going to reconfigure it. So delete this train line just there. Uh, we'll allow it to exit the region. But we have to reconfigure how we exit the region as well. That's something else that we got to try and figure out. So, right, let's see. So let me just delete this one as well. Because we're not allowing that one to go down this way. Which then pretty much gets rid of that line and we only have one line passing through there we go and right so if I then had if I deleted that to there and then st if I try to keep that at least elevated alright I'm trying to delete this bit here delete that bit there so that pulls in by two sides now, is it worthwhile me actually getting it turned over to the other side straight away? I think so. So, delete you, delete you. I'm going to have to delete that one for just a split second. And then, back to the train line. So, if I elevate this train line up by 10, and I place it... Let's start it there. And, oh, we're on the road? Yeah. What's going on? There we go. Oh, it's because we've got the power lines there. They'll throw me off slightly. So bring that up to there. And how far are we off that little connection there? Nine. So if I did a nine by nine. And then went straight down. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit funky. I'll put Anakin on for a second. So I've got to sort out the angles. But that is our straight line to exit right but then we also need to kind of hook it up to this so this one and we want to have it all connected to there we'll have this another one run simultaneously to there which actually thinking about it let me delete we should have where's that so that is by 19 so if i bring this out by nine or as close as 10 by 10 there for a second and that's that line here then we have this one which where does that right, if we bring that one to there by 11 and we might be able to get something out of this 8 by 8 there we go. They both turn in and run down. Okay, we, we're definitely simplifying this right now. So I'm trying to make this one here be connected differently. And that will obviously run straight up. So if I get... Well, I don't want a third one because we can kind of bring them in every so often. But then we do need to hook them out of there. So what I'm thinking of doing is trying to get all these... Well, actually, actually, let me bring this straight across. So if I brought it to there and bring it up by 10 as well. And I don't want to have the 10 mark just there. Is that straight? Just here. Right. And then... Where does where will the bend take place there? 6 by 6. And go straight. So that leads directly out. 
to there but we also want this to be connected which uh, is where it kind of makes me want to change how some of my routes go but if I can anarchy something like that in there right split those two so it allows that to travel into there this to travel up to there only and then exit the region how do I feel about this one I could maybe you know what actually to be honest with you I could probably just get rid of that one. that might be a good idea to kind of go with get rid of it altogether because you have the export there I mean they can drive down there they probably have I'll probably move that one round here somewhere Yeah, right, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't really see many ve many vehicles use that one anyway. And it was only really to take the little bit of an edge off this one. But this shipping area over here might do the job for us. So delete all that just for now because we got to merge these two lines together. Now that secondary line is only really going directly over to there. So it's not competing with these because these go directly to there. So at the minute, we only have this train depot hooked up to that. That's all we have at the moment. So this whole system we have going on right now is not needed. Well, that little U-turn is handy, but I could have that directly go out to there and not exit the region. So if I deleted you... Now, do I have it go directly against this or do I leave that open for space to build something maybe um, right okay so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get well you can almost get it so that's 17 by 17 straight down so that bend incurs that I might potentially just change this in the future so that goes to there and only that way. So that one can't exit the region. It goes directly to our export area over here. But you can get a train there and exit the region anyway. So do I just kind of create a little triangle section there just for now until I configure that area? Yeah. Just do that for now just to kind of get it up and running. Ain't no stress. Ain't no issues right now. But we also need this train on here to potentially have the ability to also exit the region as well which is what kind of then throws in what i'm meant to do next into question so if i had that there to there not gonna work if i just deleted that original bend there ran that straight up as well let me delete that let me delete that there and just, so if that ran originally straight And that bend took place there and there. It allows the two crossovers to happen. Right. See, it allows me to do that. Or I can initially have this one bend into here. But I like it being so close. So if that was as close as it was there. Let me delete this. And I wonder if I can get that to come out. Because it is a bit tight there, isn't it? Well, if I went straight here, let me see what I can do with the move it tool. So if I selected these two points there, move, let me undo that. Select you, select you. No, try that again. Select you, select you, select you. Just to move it down a bit, get that a bit more straight. So it still works, it still goes kind of straight. That's trying to, that's pretty much what I'm trying to go with. But then delete you, delete you. Connect them straight like that. And then bend that way. Bend that way like that. So there we go, we, we're combining the train lines to a certain extent. And then we've got to get that connected there, but let's see what kind of bend we could do.
Mm. Alright, delete that. By four to there. There we go. It's like a spider's legs right now. All bendy and windy. So I guess those in together. And I think at here, this point there. I merge them in like that. So you can't leave there and exit. It's pretty much only set up for them two to import or exit, um, import, export in. So I'm not taking everything off that one. And then we need to get these, where is it, connected. So bring this out and then up by 10. Like that. And I've got to get them intertwined. So with that there, let me bring that to there. If I went diagonal like this. With a bit more of a bend. Bit more of a bend. Right, we're getting somewhere. And I wonder. Right. Again, I've kept it very, very simple, very, very basic. Just so I can get it all up and running once more. So I push that down to there. And then we'll redo them again anyway when we start building around these areas. We'll put it into play mode and we'll see what this new kind of setup, this new system brings for us. It's probably going to be in chaos. I might have too many export areas too close together. Probably be a good idea to get rid of some of them. But we'll see how it changes some of the routes. We really will. We really will. So I'll leave that to do what it's got to do then. And I've had a little thought, guys. What do you think about me building like a canal system somewhere? Like maybe over here we utilize a couple of canals and whatnot in, in, in one of the islands to create some like really nice seafront waterfront properties and whatnot. I think that could be a cool thing to, to kind of get added in. Now we have cargo ships here, 12% filled up, cargo ships leaving. I've got to get these guys set back up as well with the um, fishing route. But I'm interested to see how things change, how diverse they then slowly get. That's taking a good... Is that train filled up? Yeah, 100% taking it straight out to there. So that's working. So if I start to notice that one is coming over populated than the other, then we'll switch it up. We've just got to give them time to rework their routes. Right, we'll come back to that in just a moment. But yeah, a, a canal town. I'm thinking about turning this into a little canal town. Like a little mini Venice. What do you guys think about that in the comment section? I think it might be a cool little thing to kind of get up and running. Um, so, yeah. We've got 40,000 residents right now in, um, in Fish Town. So, let me get these two back up and running again. So, hang on, i got to do the route. I, I, I forget how you do the routes. And it's pretty much all anchovies anyway. So bring it straight up. And we're going to like go up here slightly, spin round, straight back in. And then we'll take it straight back down to there. No questions asked, boys. No questions asked. So this one's being quite heavily used now. And I don't know whether that's because that's their favorite route at the minute. I don't know. We're getting a few of them using this one. I got to sort that angle out as well because it looks a little bit ridiculous. But no, I mean, I might say no one really wants to use this one, but that's just took out a, a train there with 100% filled with cargo. So that can't be a reason.
but then it's starting to die down a little bit as well. I think it looks like it's dying down a bit because obviously they're, they're spread out a little bit more. That's just brought some export uh, imports in. Some exports going straight back out. And what, what are those ships like? They're only 12% fill at the minute. And that's dropping off another cargo train. There's another cargo train there coming directly out. Where's that going? Back over to there as well. Right, let's sort this out because this is quite dramatic. Uh, right, we'll, we'll manually do this one. There, oh, straight away. Bam. Sweet, mate, you're sweet. So, two cargo ships out, 16% and 100%. Look at that. So, it is working. It definitely is working. Uh, what's my exports like then? So, 66,000 um, from the industry. 28% still. So, we've still got loads of work to go in increasing it. But the traffic only seems mental on this side. Doesn't it really? There's still a few vehicles going over to this one, but not as crazy as once before. So I don't know about that. It's it's interesting. It might take a long time before everything settles down again. But it looks like they've got a favourite one at the minute, which is this one. Out of interest, if I deleted that ability to go down that way, I wonder how things then change for us. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Right, leave them to do what they've got to do anyway. Leave them to do what they've got to do. Uh, we've got lots of uh, cargo ships bringing stuff in, which are hundreds and full there. Um, damn, there is quite a few, isn't there? There really is. Right, so we've got some industry demand. We have some residential demand right now. Bit of commercial demand as well. Unemployment at this point, 7%. So we could probably do more jobs. Education-wise, 47% highly educated, which is pretty sweet. Let's get a little bit more commercial down then. So we got a nice little commercial section over there. Where was we over here? Got a little commercial section just there. Which has gone really well there. Should we finish up these little areas with little cul-de-sacs as well? So if I bring it out by... If I bring each one out by 10. And then we add our own little cul-de-sac to it. Some might be a bit too big for one, but we'll see. So one there, there. Just about goes there. <laughs> that does. And then we'll add in some of our residential then. Oh, I wonder why we can't drop any of any, any zoning there. Let me get the bulldozer on it. Oh, I see, because it's elevated the road. That's why. So bring that back down. Upgrade that road there to flat. And I should be able to then, yep, yeah, get some residential zoning down there. Does it have water here? Yep. Yeah. All good. So bring a few more residents in just to kind of finish that little area off. It looks really, really good. Uh, we do have this big section that we did zone for commercial. Do I continue with it or we reckon we get to the point where we might start losing a little bit of shoppers? It's a tough one, isn't it? So I feel like we need to build something here to connect bam to there, down to there. Set up a little car park for the shoppers as well. Um, so, did it kill that off? It has stopped a lot of people going to it. And instead, they're driving to this. This is the preferred shipping route, isn't it, really? That is the preferred one. Ships are still going out here, 100% fill. Which I find crazy. I don't think you can win. To be honest with you. I don't think we can. It could be the fact that... Um, now, why if I did it like this? Because we had the issue before. I think it might be because they feel like it might be a quick route because there's a short exit just there. 
But what if I gave this also the ability to have a quick route directly out of the region? Now, it's out of city limits because I don't own it. So what if I purchase a few of these little areas to take me straight out of the region? There. So shipping. There we go. Just a way to get them out of the region. And I might start picking that up a bit more. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let me get this starting to rock and roll then. So if I had a road... Let me turn the anarchy off as well. Oh, I might have to have the anarchy on for that bit. That went straight into there. How would that go? Or do I run parallel with it? With it? So if I came up by 11 on both sides... Pause by 11 to kind of create what would you know be the grid format here and then we had ah we had this road here is the one that connects in so eight oh my god eight by eight there straight in no questions asked and then with me running that down I'm trying to think how that would fit in there, but I reckon we'll do something a little bit different in that section first. So if I enter there, that goes straight up to there. That went straight there, and I might have to put anarchy on for this one. That went straight to there. Kind of gives me that grid format, which uh, which we can pretty much work with. But what I want to focus on here is anarchy back off is we'll build a car park around here maybe anyway so if I bent that up I'm trying, trying to go with the uh, the contours of the area to try and maximize the space and if I went to like that it does create what looks like a dead end right but that's not what we're going for. We're going to turn this into a car park. So let me get the electricity all set back up because I've actually demolished some of it. There we go. I'm going to run that just to there for a moment, which means I can get rid of this one. There we go. So car park then. If I go for the wider road... How's that? Is that too, probably a bit too wide? If I went for that, or maybe the wider one on this one. Oh, I'm trying to get that, that one there. Like that. Yeah. And then what we would do is we'd create, make it as walkable as possible. I'm putting it back into play mode now. So we would make the generic... And I'll turn anarchy on all for this so we can like pr really maximize this. Generic paths cutting through. Like there. There. Straight up to there. And we'll do one like there. So that cuts that all through there, makes it again very, very walkable. We're gonna like get rid of all the parking around these streets. Um, but it does get a little bit difficult when you're trying to do, add parking on a road that's bending. But let me just um, do this first. So one there, there, and there. And then can we utilize the disabled parking? Yep. So, drop all the disabled park in here. Right, it's a little bit off, but it's okay. It's okay. I can do some EV parkings just there. At the very end of it. 
So that's a little bit of parking just there thrown in. And what could we utilize here instead? This is what's going to be quite difficult. So maybe go with the one side's parking. So a couple of spots there. And we'll go over a couple here. There and there. Just squeeze them in. And what can I get out of this four one? Can I yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Actually no, because I just realized how it looks. Like that. We do have the smaller versions. Nice little car parks there, boys. And there's someone who would have driven across the grass to get over here. Jump a couple in there. Right, so. Give me some suggestions, guys, of what we call this little area. So it's called Cold, Cold, Cola Ridge Heights at the minute, but because it's our little parking zone, what do we call it? And we'll do some commercial around it as well to kind of fit it all in. But what we're going to do is go to the vehicle. No, no, no park in there. And add it to the streets around it. So all streets near it. There is no parking available. In a way which will first, they'll, add, they'll park in the buildings around. That's what they'll do. And then when they have no room to park there, they'll park here. Now, it, it, there's a couple of cars in. Hasn't really maximized it just yet until we get more buildings around. But if I kind of like get rid of the parking restriction or add some parking restrictions kind of near it, then that way they've got to park in that area. So, commercial. We fill this area up. Which will hopefully provide more jobs. There we go. And create more of a little shopping district. But then at this point, we need to start thinking about adding in more residential. So, leave that to do what it's got to do then. And how are we doing over here? So a lot of vehicles using that, a couple of vehicles using there, still using there. I think we got it spread quite nice and even now at this point, which is exciting. So it's a great addition having that extra export area, I think, anyway. Well, I think. We'll see what happens. How many little cool de sacs coming along? They're not too shabby. Really adds that finish and touches to that little section. And where's the public transport here anyway? So we have a public transport. All the public transport stops are just there. So they're all within walking distance. Uh, need some water. Pumping down in that direction. Now we do have some industry. So we could satisfy that with offices. That's one way to do it. But let me uh, fill up this whole set. Let me pause. Do a nice strip of a uh, high density commercial just there. And let me push that up to there. Get rid of you. And that's just probably as much of the commercial front I'm going to want to do in this area. It's all then going to be residential. But it's what we need, boys. It's what we freaking need right now. Let's get those peeps in those jobs. 7% unemployed? That's not good. Get me more jobs, boys. Get me more jobs. So, what is the leisure like around these areas then? So, it's good in some areas. It's not very great over here. So, let's try and increase it. I think I might try and go for some of these unique buildings to begin with. 
let's see what we can get out of these. Colossal Towers, got the Lungs of the City. To look at some magnificent trees. A little bit too big for my liking just there. Um, the Grand Library. Ooh, the Business Park. Now, don't we have some... in? Yeah, some zoning just there for it. I don't know if I'm going to if I want to place that down to kill off some of my residential. What if I placed it here? Uh, where was the zoning again? It's in there. So we'll bite the bullet and I'll place it here. Turn the anarchy off for a second. Bite the bullet, place it there, becomes a nice additional landmark to what will be our office area over here, which then slowly start to upgrade those buildings because they have a little bit more leisure in the area. Now, for this itself, we are going to go for parks. So, ne next question is, what type of park do I go with? Small park, park of trees is always a good shout. Yeah, and if I incorporate it just there, I could utilize then the paths that come off it. Right, and the key of that, bam, straight in. Like there. Run that down to there. That becomes another little good way of doing it. And then also parking restrictions. No parking on these roads. To try and push them over again. To that car park. Which is slowly starting to fill up a little bit more. And it's a nice solid car park within this big downtown -y vibe area that we're going to have up and running. And we need to add more residential stuff, but we need to add in also more landmarky things. <laughs> oh, good God, Seniac. Good God. Right, a clock tower would be. Do you know what? Perfect for somewhere here. Like the car park is around the old clock tower. And I'm going to concrete this area off. Only a small bit of it. Not too much. Just... Do you know what? We'll concrete... Do I concrete this, this whole little section? Well, let me see what it looks like. Now do it there. Because it is the industrial side of, of all of this. Trees. Well, I've just got rid of the trees that are growing there. All the other ones are part of the building. How does that look? I don't like it. I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. So... Get rid. I don't like it, but I do like it on this part. Alright, we'll do it just to here. That's where the path is. We'll keep it to there. And only there. Ooh, we still acclaimed. And... Tree wise, let's get a couple of uh, these palm trees in. I don't want too many because this is not the natural tree. Where is my natural tree? There we go. It's these type of palms. Well, kind of anyway. It's still really not that much natural. Uh. Of 
couple of those in. Yeah, it's all of those, isn't it? And then, where's the other tree gone? These. These are a bit bigger. There we go. Bulk it up a bit more. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more cars coming over here now. Which is exciting. Get rid of the traffic lights. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, they're starting to park there. They're getting a little bit cheeky, aren't they, boys? Excuse me, you can't park your vehicles there, sir. And down here as well. They'll park anywhere. Use the car parks provided. Oh, definitely that's getting really full right now. Damn. Are they really parking down here as well? They will park anywhere, won't they? Anywhere they can get their hands on. They'll park their vehicles. Or we'll just get a few more cars over there. <laughs> right, but that's good though. That starts to look a little bit better. I'm liking it. So soon, we'll have to start thinking about setting up another transport area. Uh, but for now, it's pretty good. Um, we'll bulk it a lot more residential. But now more time has passed over here. I think we've dispersed the exports fairly nice. This is still taking a beating. But it's because it's the, the dominant export area in general. But it ain't too shabby anyway. That's pumping out another cargo ship of 100%. Damn, it's quite a bit to be honest with you. 34% is coming from our export, from our industry, which is glorious. Mmm. 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 And how is our uh, our commercial goods are pretty much down. So we could do with some more expansions. But I do need to focus on a lot more other stuff. I really do. And it might be an idea to have a few more import and export areas. Away from that industrial side. We do need one over here. So really got to start thinking about where we could potentially place another one. Uh, and I might even incorporate a cargo airport. If I do... I'm going to have to expand this island a little bit more. You know how it goes. <laughs> but we do. We do need this one because we, we still rely on a lot, a lot of ships. And they bring in, like I said, a lot of ships in. Look at the, the, the backlog in ships we've got here. Trying to bring in the goods. It is a lot. It definitely is a freaking lot right now. So unemployment right now, it probably hasn't budged. Well, 5%. That's good. We've dropped it by 2% of the whole population. Which ain't too shabby. But we got to do the expansion slowly in stages. Because if we start to see some ridiculous um, spikes in traffic. Then we need to sort that out. Uh, a lot of them are coming in and going down there. Like where are you heading for anyway? The, the operator going to the new commercial. Yeah they're going over here. So it's pretty much all the new shoppers heading over. This car park here is getting really full right now. We do have a little bit of dead space here. We can add a little bit more too. So do I go for that one or do I go for this small one? No, I think we'll go for like this style. Yeah, I'll pull in that kind of style there. So it's like smack bang in the middle. To lead a few more cars in. And we do have a few spaces here. I can squeeze some more in. Spin you around. So every little helps with that car park. Oh, they're already filling those up. They weren't wasting any time right there, boys. But then he's got the nice big clock tower in there. Um, but that's all go really well over here. The high interest tower... Aviation Club, Library, the Expo Center will be another good one to throw in, the Science one. It's a really big building though that is. And then we have the Servicing Building, which is not as big as that one, but it's still a pretty big building. That really is. I mean, we have like stuff like the Fantastic Fountain. 
the casino is another one we need to get in. And we have the normal landmarks in general. We've already got in the boat museum. We have the traffic park there. What's that one there that's locked? The locomotive halls. But we need all the uh, stuff in for that. Oh, see, I want to go crazy with the landmark stuff to shit, but I've got a lot of structure things to kind of get up and running. But we'll eventually get there anyway. So, guys, give me a name session for this little area right now. I will extend it, to be honest with you. So, I don't know if you can kind of come up with a car park related fish based name. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, I mean, I know it's going to be for this area, no, that we kind of extend him. But because it's has that huge car park in, it would be nice if that was the feature name for it. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm sure you guys can come up with something in the comment section down below. You are all very, very, very creative. But everyone's trying to pull into this little section right there. And we are starting to see a little bit of traffic flowing through. Which, uh, we've got to think of ways in which we can, um kind of bypass it really we do have a huge ba I don't know whether that's the initial traffic just moving into this region or whether this is just traffic in general I'm trying to get over here but this is probably where your boy is going to need his export uh, not export transport area so we have that going straight down to there we have no stops over here at the minute for our subway line. But that's something that we could potentially have to get in next episode. Wait, do we not have a... Wait, hold on. Metro. Where's my metro lines? That's tram lines. I, I'm going to say that they weren't appearing then for a second. But yeah, we definitely got to think about now getting those uh, public transport lines all set up. Because you're starting to see some spikes. And I don't like it. You see what I mean right now? See, that that's where you would want the island back in right now. Now, because we had no traffic for so long, and now we're starting to see a little bit of this come into it. It's like, yo, Cynic, you could have done with that roundabout. You could have done with that roundabout. But we're going to first try and solve it with public transport. And if it then can't be solved with public transport, that's when we have to then take drastic measures. Um, but it looks like nobody wants to... Well, everyone's trying to get over here anyway or get out. So we do need like an additional way to... That is the main road in. I don't want to utilise the highway underneath because that might create some more traffic issues than needs be but we're definitely going to try and solve it first with public transport there's still a few more roads in which i can link it all up to kind of connect in two to try and bypass it but it's one of those things you're just gonna wait and see when i start getting all these roads coming down to connect to there everyone coming out here is going driving to get down might take those roads instead and it might try or well, hopefully slow down um, the traffic but you just never know you never know in this game so it's nice that we got something to look forward to that, that we get to try and potentially solve uh, but hopefully it's not too crazy with the traffic hopefully so where they will go in and we might have to kind of also tr maybe have to create a one way looped system maybe who knows but it's going to be exciting. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please smash that like button down below. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.